What's up guys, Ruxin34 back, and today we have a little bit of a different video, but before we get started with this package, I want to ask you guys about YouTube memberships. My channel just got an email and it said that I'm eligible for YouTube memberships, which is kind of like Patreon, so I'm thinking about moving what I have done on Patreon so far to YouTube memberships. I wouldn't have even started a Patreon if I would realized we were that close. It, it's kind of weird about the restrictions. They tell you it's 30k subs, but then it's not, obviously, because we don't have 30k subs, so I don't know. So. I'm probably going to start doing potentially doing that and if I do there might be some live streams just for uh, members and stuff like that but we'll see let me know in the comments what you guys think about that and let's do the giveaway for this video of elemental hero neos from dupo cyber dark horn summon skull from Dolce pack yugi and a tune harpy lady so pretty cool giveaway all you have to do is like the video be subscribed and let me know in this package which is a collection by the way what your favorite card is and I want to remind you guys that at 20,000, we're going to be opening up those first edition Legend of Blue Eyes booster packs and more to be announced in the near future. It's going to be pretty exciting. Make sure you guys subscribe for that. And let's get into this. Where is my... There is my knife. Okay. As I called it, an, I called it like an unpackager before. <laughs> yeah, so unpackager. There we go. Let's see what we can do. This is, by the way, I said it was a little bit different. You guys look, wait a second. Uh, collections are not different. We do them all the time. Well, this is not mine. This was sent to me by one of my friends, and he wants me to sell these cards. So I'm going to be selling these cards for him. So if you guys are interested in any card in here, message me, preferably on Instagram. It's much easier for me to keep track of everything on Instagram. So if you don't have an Instagram account, it takes like literally a minute or two to make and then send me a DM, at Ruxin34, same as here. And you can also message me on Twitter, I'm there. Make sure you guys go follow me at Ruxin34 there. And I have a Facebook page, but the Facebook doesn't really send me notifications well. That is why I'm super slow at getting back on Facebook because I don't get the notifications. So Twitter and Instagram are the best. Instagram is the very best. A lot of you guys don't follow me on Twitter, so go out there and check Twitter out. I've tried been using, I've been trying to use it a little bit more. So here we go, here is a little note. Sup, bro? Sorry for the mess. To be honest, I'm not even sure what, what's in this box. All right, sell what you can. Keep or give away the rest. Accept the binder. If those don't sell, take them back. All right, so we're going to try and sell everything. I don't really want to keep anything if I don't have to. Also, the top loaders and savers and blisters are gift. Okay, good, because top loaders are gold these days. <laughs> so I'll be using those for... Uh... The blisters are gift. so it looks like we might have a mini opening. Have fun, Trihorn. His name is Trihorn Jinzo on Instagram. Make sure you guys check him out. I'll try and... Remember to put him in the description if I forget. Somebody remind me in the comments. And go follow him there. He's pretty cool. We've known each other for a long time on Instagram. This before I was really going hard on YouTube. So here we go. It looks like he sent us a couple of packs that we will open up at the end. So we've got a Spell Ruler and Dark Crisis. He's the king of Walmart packs. So that's pretty That's pretty good. Oh, look at all these. He sent us a bunch of them. We've got top loaders and card savers. That's good because I am constantly searching Walmarts for those because they cost an insane amount. So let's see how we're gonna do this. Let's see, let's put these blisters up back here. All right, there's two of those. We're gonna. Oh wait, maybe there's more. There's three of them. Oh, we got an LOB. Yeah, he used to go uh, Instagram Live and he'd be going and earn his Walmart runs. It, it was great. It was really great. Okay, let's see what he does have for sale. And I'm going to show you guys everything, so if you are interested, you can message me. I'll be posting on Instagram for sale later, probably today, maybe even maybe maybe tomorrow if I don't have time. Because I get get up for this video too, so. Um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. There's just going to be a bunch of stuff, and it's going to be everywhere. And I'm going to try and show you. I might cut through this part. Oh, we've got PSA slabs. It's like a big mystery box opening. Okay, here we go. Let's just start going through this stuff. And I'm just going to try and check out what it is, you know, see what we can do. So we have LOB. These look like a uh, reprint Walmart editions. Swords of Revealing Light. By the way, if you guys don't know how to tell the difference, I'll link my video up there on how to tell if your cards are reprint or not. Here is a creature swap. That's from Legacy of Darkness. So it's definitely not a Walmart reprint because they didn't reprint Legacy of Darkness. Here are some loose cards, so they're probably not too crazy. If they're not even uh, sleeved. Okay, here we go. Magician's Force. It's cool. Oh, we got a couple of cards in here. Pot of Greed was in there. That's worth a little bit. First edition Legendary Collection Yugi's World. Here's a reprint Celtic Guardian. I'm going to take him out of this top loader. Oh, never mind. It's in sleeve. Okay. It's 
find there. We have. Ooh, I can't. I can't tell. Is that an original? I can't tell because it's so foggy. This is. This one's tough. This one doesn't really look like a reprint, but it doesn't look like a an original. Oh, it's European. That's why. Okay. I was like, this is really hard to tell. Okay, it's European. That makes sense. So there's a European left or left arm. So there's that. Got Upstart Goblin First Edition Legendary Collection Yugi's World. It's a nice card. That's pretty worth a few dollars. Question. We've got oh we got a few cards in here. So let's see if we can get them all out. Go over what's in here. If you guys are interested, message me on Instagram and I'm. I'll see what I still have because I'm going to post a lot of it on my story on Instagram. That's where I sell a lot of stuff. Probably not going to do TCG player for these just because I want to keep them separate since they are his stuff and not mine. They're his cards. Okay, here we go. Tape and top loaders. Not my favorite thing. A little, a little sketchy on getting the cards out sometimes. Oh, man. Yeah, see? Look at this. Oh, it's taped onto the thing. Yeah, this is not fun. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay. Got the cards out. Let's see what they are. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. Okay. Secret rare and battle pack. King Tiger. That's from uh, is that from Legacy of Darkness or LON or something like that. And then the Revival Gem and the Crazy Sleeve. Super rare. Pretty good condition, it looks like. Maybe like very light play. Let's put that down here. We've got a Tribute to the Doom. That's a reprint. Hino Kagasuchi. That's from Dark Beginning 2. And another question from Veronica Guardian Unlimited. A sealed um, Legendary Collection 2 promos. It has the Raviel and all that stuff. We've got, looks like, well, first there's some first edition LOD. Right, there's Unlimited. Another for three Frontier Wise, another first edition. So there's a mixture of some LOD cards in there. And some, it was Japanese or Korean, I'm not sure. Somebody told me how to tell the difference once. I think it's, uh, Maybe it was the packs. It was like when they use that cir when you use circular. When they would use like cir Korean uses like circles more. I think is what part of it was. I can't remember. Okay, and then we have Mask of Dispel and Defusion. That is unlimited. So those are not reprints though. Then we have United We Stand, and that's it in that one. There are some big PSA cards, so I saw a pretty nice one. Oh, a Curse of Dragon. Unsleeved. That was a little, maybe very light play. That looks pretty good, though. Oh, wow. Green Baboon, Defender of the Forest from Retro Pack. Secret Rare. Pretty nice. Evil Hero, Malicious Fiend. Oh, there's a Brionic. That's a... Don't know what kind of card that is. 20th anniversary pack, it looks like. Elementary Woodsman, Cosmic Blazer Dragon, Cyber Twin Dragon, that's pretty cool. Elemental Hero, Malicious Fiend. Okay. Alright, okay, less top loaders now, make it a little easier. Card Destruction, First Edition SDY, that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty nice. Upstart Goblin, it's a nice card. For a common. Double Pass, Mizuki. And Fallen Paradise. Encode Talker. Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon. Whoops. I'm guessing these are kind of bulky foil cards. Oh, there's a nice blue eyes. That's pretty cool. Cyber Repair Plant. Trap Hole. Why is that in there? This card's not too bad either. Um, Jump Promo. Nice. Pharaonic Guardian Hollow. Come on. Come on. What are you, what are you sleeping here, buddy? Defusion. <laughs> not, you're not sleeping the good stuff. All right, there's a gra Grave Robber, Super Rare. We've got to sleeve that up. First Edition, Barrel Behind the Door. That's pretty cool. Royal Decree. Gemini Elf. Oh, Cap Shell. Oh, I pulled so many of those. I would always pull that card. 
Okay, we're going to sleeve up these nice old foils, which are not sleeved. We got Gravekeeper's Chief. And then here's a reprint trap hole, but still, it is... What is that? Look at that dot. Is that a misprint? It's definitely printed on there. That's pretty crazy. Uh, okay, that's cool looking. It's a dot on that trap hole. It's pretty cool. Then we got Defusion and Royal Decree. I don't think I showed those. Okay. Yes. Make sure you guys hang around. We've got three packs we're going to open. Hopefully, we'll pull something cool. Chaos Emperor Dragon. Nice. Oh, we got Fake Cypher the Sky Dragon. That is awesome. Obelisk the Tormentor. This one's real. This is an ultra rare GBI. Definitely beat up, but pretty cool. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. This guy's actually expensive. Because I sold one the other day. It was like $20. Yeah, I checked TCG Player. Even the Unlimited was $20. I think the first edition is even more. So those are getting pricey. Flame Wingman. Um, Dark Jolteon First Edition. Okay, random Pokemon. Got Parallel World Fusion and Ultimate Insect. Level 7. <clears throat> okay. Immortal Phoenix Gear Free. That's a nice Toon Chaos card. Okay, it looks like these still have stuff in on these Kaiba cards. All right, this is sealed. We've got some more Pokemon. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Fire Floof. It's the nickname that me and my friend have for the Flareon. Nido Queen. Nido Queen. I mean, it's cool to see these Pokemon. They're definitely beat, though. But if you guys are interested in Pokemon, hit me up. Probably would sell those as a lot because they're not in fantastic condition. But they are obviously Wizards of the Coast. Cool stuff. Oh, here we go. In this pack, he got a blue eye shining. Ancient rules. It's like opening the pack. Terraforming. Okay, that was a pretty good pack. Blue eye shining is worth like $3, I think, out of that set. So those will be for sale. Obviously, everything's for sale. Yeah, except for except for those three packs, which we're going to open and hopefully pull fire. Silver Scry, Fiend Sanctuary. There's a blue eyes. Mirror Forest. Dragon's Ravine and Cost Down. I'm trying to separate the secrets from the Ultras. Okay, got a few more. How many? It looks like you opened a couple of these Legendary Collection Kybus. Flute of Summoning Dragon. Dark Arm Dragon. That's a good one. The Dad. That's where a blue. Dragon Shrine and Burst Stream. I love how like every Seeker Rare is a blue eyes card almost. It's pretty sweet. Okay, I said that. Then we got an anti raikeki Okay. Blue Eyes. Called by the Grave and B. Okay, I said that, and none of the Secret Rares were Blue Eyes cards. Literally none of them that time. Jinxed it. Okay, last one. Last two, actually. We got two more. Just going to get them all. I'm just going to reorganize this. Didn't exactly organize it for me there, buddy. <laughs> no, I was kidding. I told him just throw it in there. Okay. Enemy Controller, Goddess Sweet Revenge. Here's another sealed promo, so he definitely opened two of these. Because I think there's three, yeah, there should be three packs per box plus the promos, because they give you ten cards in each pack. Okay, Rider of the Stormwinds, Return of the Dragon Lords, and in, I think Return of the Dragon Lords is pretty good. Okay, so there's all the Legendary Collection Kaiba. Here's a Rainbow Neos. This is actually really expensive. Because Rainbow Neos Common was like ten bucks for a little bit. So there's Rainbow Dragon, Rainbow Neos. I know somebody's going to want that. I can't remember who it was. Somebody wanted both last time, but I only had the Rainbow Neos. First edition Gear Freed. Okay. Forceful Century first edition. Okay, that's some nice cards. All right, last little stack. Well, then we got the binder, the PSA cards, and then the opening. So let's see what we can see how we can get through this. You know, not too slow. Pretty sweet collection. First edition LOB. This is, must be from when he opened his pack. He did open a first at LOB pack after, I guess after my box. Is that when it was? Okay. He, and then he opened one up. Cyber Dragon. Okay, that's a pretty nice card. Dimension Prison. Okay, let's go like that. Dark Neos. Nice. Miracle Fusion and Dimensional Prison. He definitely had a nice Legendary Collection GX because he pulled some really good secrets. He pulled the Flame Wingman, Dark Neos, and the Cyber Dragon. That's a really good one. 
Okay, let's go through that in a second. Scorch Fiend of Lightning. Return or Red Eye Spirit, not Return of the Red Eyes. Um, Golem Dragon. Slide for the Seal. Oh, wow, that one's oh, okay. That's the reprint one. I thought that was the big one. Here's First Dead again. Were these out of his pack? Because these things are beat. No, maybe they weren't out of his pack. Because they're not in great shape. They're like mod play, and that's usually not what you'd get out of the pack. Okay. Okay, those two. Now we gotta get these open. Yeah, by the way, you're sorry about the. Uh, well, you, a lot of you guys said you like the long video. Some of you guys said you didn't prefer the long video. So I'm trying not to take too long, but I'm just trying to show everything. So if you do, then you know, sit back, relax. If you don't, you know, it's okay to not watch the whole thing or just watch, skip through or watch it in multiple steps. That's fine. Okay, Terra Firma and Rainbow Dark Dragon. All right, here we have more first edition LOB. We've got a Wing Dragon of Raw. Is that, that's the ultra rare, okay. From GBI. We've got Miserra Deville, first edition, and one of these little screw downs, so we'll have to <laughs> open that thing up. We've got another top loader. We've got some sleeves, it looks like. Oh, wow. First Ed, Light of Destruction Ultimate Rare, Light Sworn, so that's pretty cool. Monster Reborn, that looks like it is a reprint. And it's the only one in there. We got a Roland, that's from Toon Chaos. More LOB reprints. See, I'm telling you, he's the reprint king. Oh, there's an Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed. Chaos Daedalus. Ooh, he got some of the bad ones. Oh, and there's Chaos Creator. So there's some good stuff in there. And here we go. Let's go. Oops. Let's go into the PSA cards. No, no, no. Let's go into the binder. I forgot about the binder. This one's small, so I should be able to hold it up. Show you guys. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it like this. All right, we're going to flip through here. We've got Sangha. Tribute to the Doom. That's an original. See, it says Magic Card. And the texture is just a little different. Um, we got a SRL Toon Summon Skull. Let's see, Upstar Goblin. We got a Trap Hole. That is an original. Here's some, a lot of original unlimited. You got Axe of Despairs, Graceful Charity, Scapegoat, Book of Life, first edition, Mirage of Nightmare, first edition, Yamada Dragon, Horn of Heaven, the Great Horn of Heaven makes an appearance. Okay, Snatch Steel. We've got LOB reprints. We got a Relinquish from SRL. A lot of reprint stuff, but here we go. Oh, there's another reprint, Raigeki. We've got a first Ed Secret Rare Gemini Elf. Injection Fairy Lily up there. Is that from Retro Pack? Yeah, I gotta look down. I gotta look around all this stuff. And then we got all of his Invaders of Darkness. A couple first editions, a reprint. Rife Senshi. We got more <laughs> Invaders of Darkness. You'll see more where that came from. There's a Breaker from Mag uh, Magician's Force. Thousand Dragon. Ooh, look at that. Faded first ed oh my goodness, that is a sweet card. Faded first edition LOB. That is really nice. And then another thousand dragon. And then it looks like we've got a couple first edition Pharaoh Servants and some unlimited. So there's the binder. Really some really good stuff in there. So if you're interested, make sure you guys hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. And let's get into the final part of his collection that he's selling. And yeah, we have PSA slabs. First edition ancient ear. <laughs> Ear, ancient ancient ear golem what ancient gear golem ultra rare psa 9 red eyes black dragon near mint from lob this is a pretty sweet card this is an original as well not a reprint that's near mint psa 7 invader of darkness gem mint 10 this is unlimited this is a reprint wait check that thing out okay all right Wow, the Faded Relinquish. That is pretty cool. First edition from Starter Deck Pegasus. So that's pretty cool to see. First edition Invader of Darkness, PSA 8. So there's that. Dark Crisis first edition Judgment of Anubis. That got a 7, so near mint. Oh, a first edition War Turtle from Base Set. That got a PSA 8. 
Near Mint 7 on the Bulbasaur. That's also a first edition base set. Those are like 700 bucks and 10, I think. Ooh, a 4 on the Ivysaur. Okay. Ivysaur first edition. Got a 4. Judgment of Anubis with a 9. That's pretty close to being really nice. Imperial Order 9. Okay. That's a pretty nice card. PSV first. And then a first Ed Miser de Ville PSA 9. Two more cards. Oh, wow. wow. Archlord Zerato PSA 10. This is the cover card from Ancient Sanctuary. So that's actually like pretty expensive last time I checked. And then the last card, a PSA 9 Vampire Lord first edition from Dark Crisis. That's a pretty good card. That is pretty awesome. The secret rare, the better secret rare. The other one's Judgment of Anubis, which he also had. So pretty cool to see those. Okay, now let's get into our opening. Let me know, guys, if you guys are interested in any of those cards. I'll be selling all of them. So I'm going to, I guess we'll just make, we'll just do our best to get through here. So let's go with Dark Crisis first. And let's see if we can pull anything out of these, either the free cards or the, or the pack. By the way, I know I, a lot of you guys have already heard this story, but it's so incredible. I have to tell it every time. But you know, these back cards usually are complete junk, of course. Once in 2018, I was opening these up for YouTube and I pulled a Ghost Rare Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. So that was insane. It was so awesome. Now let's see if we can pull something good out of here. Yeah, out of the free packs. Not out of the, like, not, not a pack at all, just out of the free cards. So that was awesome. Here we go. Drag down in the grave. Archfiend's Roar. And a Guardian Grar Ultra Rare. And a Grand Marju Garzette. Look at that pack. That's a good pack. We got an Ultra Rare. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where is the sleeves? Oh, I covered them. Okay. Here we go. Sleeve it up. Ultra Rare. There we go. Awesome. Now we're going into Spell Ruler. Can we pull an epic? What do we want? I guess we're relinquished. That would be pretty sweet. Blue Eyes Tune. Well, Blue Eyes Tune from Spell Ruler is like $75 for some reason. It is crazy. Okay, so there's our card. See, like, we just got rares on that one. See, one time I got a Ghost Rare. Somebody probably thought, ah, this card's not any good. It's, it's all white. You can't even see it. All right. Spell Ruler. Let's see what we can get. Stone Ogre Grotto, Snake Fang, Mystic Plasma Zone, Horn of Light, and a Cyber Jar. That's a nice Cyber Jar card, though. So nothing in that one. Well, besides the Cyber Jar, I can't complain about that. Final pack of the video. Thanks again for sending me these free packs for the video. Try Horn Jinzo. Make sure you guys check him out on Instagram. And let me make sure you guys check me out on Instagram and Twitter to buy the cards. Neo Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. That's pretty cool. I thought it was the secret rare at first. Um, or maybe that's just regular Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. I can't remember. All right. Legend of Blue Eyes. Speaking of Legend of Blue Eyes, don't forget about the first edition packs we're opening at 20,000. So make sure you subscribe. Okay. Final pack. Here we go. Sogan. Armored Starfish. Beaver Warrior. Silver Fang. And a Grave Digger Ghoul. Okay. So we did get something. We got an ultra rare out of three packs. So that's pretty good. That was awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think, what cards you liked or are interested in, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! <laughs> Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh!